Worldwide parent coach and conscious educator Sue DeCaro is on a mission to revitalize the joy in parenting. Welcome to Conscious Parents, Thriving Kids, a podcast designed to help parents all over the world create deeper connections with themselves and their children while overcoming life's daily parenting challenges. Listen in if you want to bring more laughter, love, and enjoyment to your home life. Welcome to Conscious Parents Thriving Kids, a place for all things parenting. I am your host, Sue DeCaro. How do we know what is right and what is wrong when it comes to raising our children? Many times, parents that I talk with are trying to find the right answer, their prescription for raising children. Life would be so easy if there was a simple prescription to this very challenging job called parenting. I know I looked for it myself. I believe years ago, as one of those parents, I was always looking for answers. There were so many occasions where I told myself that I must have been doing it all wrong. I constantly wondered what the right way was. That was the answer that I could never find, but I was searching outside of myself, in books, in many therapists' office, and anywhere I could turn. What turns out to be true is that right and wrong are nebulous. They are just judgments and labels that we put on life, decisions, and actions to make sense of them and characterize them in our own minds. Perhaps in some situations this works, especially when it comes to something like a math problem. When it truly comes down to it, there is no right or wrong way. There is just the way. Intuition and inner wisdom, in my opinion, are two of the most important ingredients for raising our children. When we are quiet enough to hear our wisdom and listen to our child, we find the way, the path to raising our unique child in a way that serves the distinct character of that particular child. It is again not about what society tells us is right or is wrong. No one knows our child as well as we do. No one lives with our child and sees the needs of him or her as much as we do. So the world at large cannot determine what is wrong or what is right for us. Only we know the way. We can look to our in-laws or our parents, but do they really know our child in a way in which we do? They may have raised children in the past, but things are different today. That is not to say that they did not do a good job in the way in which they did it, but things are different today and children are different today. And each child is a unique being and needs to be looked at in that way. In my own parenting, When I began to see things in this way and utilize my own intuition and inner knowledge, I was able to respond to each one of my daughters in a way that I felt internally would serve them. Every day is truly about trial and error, about doing the best we can in each moment, and about listening to our intuition and learning from our own children, those that are in front of us, mirroring to us a way in which we can grow and thrive ourselves. The less we focus on these words right and wrong, the more we can find the freedom to explore our heart and soul and the wisdom that resides within. When we do this, we are offering a deeper connection all around. As I learn to focus on my own inner wisdom, I learned several things about my children that helped me to really listen to the inner voice. One of my kids likes to do everything the more difficult way. So she wouldn't choose the road more followed. She would choose the road less followed, the road that's more difficult and challenging. But that is her way. She is a survivor and a thriver, but always with a challenge. And so when I looked at her in this particular way, I was able to see that the choices she was going to make were those that served her 
because this was what she liked in her life. More power to her. And I was able to stand back and allow the process to unfold without trying to control it and shift it to take the road more traveled. And therefore, our relationship was stronger because I followed my intuition and the inner knowing that I had, not what everybody outside told me to do. My other daughter is more sensitive and needs support from a sensitive, compassionate mother. And as this child unfolded and showed me her distinct way that she thrived in the world, I was able to listen to my own intuition and inner knowing to support her in this way, not control her, not make her follow the road that I wanted her to follow, but also to see her clearly and respond to her from that inner voice, that inner knowing, that intuition of what's truly right for her, not what's truly right. As Tom Ford says, there are no right or wrong answers. There's only intuition. Each moment is a moment to allow to unfold and see in that moment, not from the past, not from the future, but as a new opportunity. How do you define the way you parent in your own home? Do you allow yourself enough room to listen to your intuition as well as watch your child and adapt to what your child needs to thrive? It's so important to give ourselves a space and this opportunity, this quiet time to hear our own intuition and tune out the outside noise that comes to us day to day, moment to moment. Thank you for joining me. Remember, every moment is a new moment for Conscious Connections. Thanks for listening to Conscious Parents Thriving Kids. If you like what you heard, please subscribe, rate, and review at iTunes or wherever you listen in. And be sure to visit DeCaroParentCoaching.com for a free download of 10 ways to connect with your child.